the Joe Rogan experience. It takes a lot of attrition and, and conditioning and skill to do that. But when guys fight like that, they're doing the complete opposite of fighting. They're doing everything in their power for them not to land the blow and me not to land the blow. And it's kind of like, bro, you're almost trying too hard to sniff a crotch or fucking <laughs> sniff an armpit, you know. And it's 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 fighting, but it's also entertainment, you know. And he wasn't finishing guys. He's just literally hugging guys to death, you know. So My perspective was I'm fascinated to see who he can do that to. Because he did yeah, that to a to, lot of guys. I mean, he did it to a lot of guys, guys that were like uh, killers. And he just put that fucking wrestling on him. Yeah, yeah. You know, and the beautiful thing about the way you knocked him out is you preyed on his instincts. Mm -hmm. you, you went at an angle and then right to him, and his instinct was just automatically to yeah. grab you. I mean, <laughs> that, that is one of the most iconic photos in the history of the fucking sport. You know, also and then from, you use from... that even in your papers. I should show Let go. Jorge has papers. Trio 5, baby. Trio 5 my city. papers, and it says at the bottom, super necessary. Let's go, man. <laughs> It's super necessary you get them papers. But Bro, yeah. that knockout, I mean, I remember watching that going, oh, my God. You know, a, a, lot, of it, a lot of it was... Uh, also psychological man i i knew from hanging out that um what were you saying good in to him? Adapting. That it's like hey you got to come prove it now something like that i was saying like all that shit talking you got to do it now and these guys just flapping gums at each other any chance they get the fight clock is go to the side and then boom right in boom. out cold boom. but the whole thing is the the walking over him that really gets him the change of speed i uh I saw that on Twitter, you know, he's, you know, I always like to study my dudes in, in different ways, but I saw this that in a... the best decision. <laughs> just celebration. On Twitter, I saw that he was very, uh, like, you know, witty and always constantly writing shit like that. And I'm like, you know, he's, he's a dork and a nerd, but, you know, he's got a little bit of wit behind the computer screen. When I saw him face to face every time and it was straight, my cue versus yours, improvisation versus your improvisation, or maybe you've been thinking about some stupid shit for like a month and you're going to say it to me now but he froze up every single time. And these were like a lot of uh, encounters we had off camera. Like, I remember I saw him and I was like ducked off in a, in a corner and he, had, he was walking by this room. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna spring up on this dude and scare the living shit at him. So I did, pop, pop up on him, hands behind my back, literally short circuit. Hey, 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 master, I heard you're a very tough guy. I, I, I gotta use the bathroom and I'm following. No, 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 let's talk, bro. I just wanna talk. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do nothing. You come over here, let me talk to you, bro. Why are you such a corny motherfucker? And I'm just, you know, trying to probe at him. And I noticed every single time that it was unscripted, unimprovised like that, like just spur of the moment, short circuit, couldn't fucking, you know, keep it together. So I was like, I, I not only need to run at him, but I need to have like a change of speed because that's going to make him go into his natural crotch sniffing instincts. If I just change the speed on him, he's going to fucking duck. So that's why I came out slow, cut the little angle and let him like, oh, okay, you know, we're going to circle it up. As soon as I change speed, what does he do? Go to his fucking initial instincts as a fucking crotch sniffer and go sniff the crotch. <laughs> Instead, you're going to kiss his knee goodbye, though, you know? That was one of the greatest knockouts in the history of the sport, without a doubt. I mean, one of the best ever. Thank you, sir. It, Plus, it doesn't take doubt. up too much of your time. You know, you got that. Hey, you want to see a dead body real quick? <laughs> Bam, you know, and it's over. I want to see a dead body. That's it it was know? just a, a giant scream. And that was like, you fucking launched into him. It was hilarious though. That, like right away on Twitter, he's like, "Well, that sucked." And then I and then I counted his ass out. Yeah. You know, boom. boom. I mean, he leaned into it too. I mean, doom, doom. oh, because he, he was dying to sniff the crotch, bro. <laughs> he's dying, bro. <laughs> he's like, he should have been invited to the Sam Bankman Freed party. Uh, <laughs> horrible knockout. One of the worst ever, I and mean, one of the greatest ever. It's just the way you set it up, though. It's just, and then watching video footage of you practicing that yeah. over and over and over yeah. again and knowing that that was a plan. So when I'm doing it the night before, I'm like 95% certain because of the way he's been acting all week. Like, all I got to do at any given moment is just get this guy uncomfortable. Go from, like, chill to invaded space, whether it was in the opening bout or, like, in the second round or midway through the third. I just knew I had the invaded space, and he's going to go to his natural instincts. I know I keep saying it, but I just knew it, like, the way he'd freeze up every time we talked, the way he'd walk, the way he'd get stiff. Yeah, I just you knew practice like, it. I mean, you literally practice the exact same thing over and over and over again. It's so, yeah. it's so wild to see.